All right, guys, we're picking up today's episode, cleaning up these guys' cow shed. We want to try and goop up some of the mess that these guys made. Chester, one of our cows got loose last night. That was crazy. One of the doors was left open. There we go. I think I got it all cleaned up. Perfect. I'll shoot around here, but we got to feed everybody, get them going. And we had a few new births as well, so that was really cool. But everybody's hungry, thirsty, and uh, the daily chore of taking care of the cows commences. And welcome back to the Iowa farm. A lot has been going on, and we are just about done cultivating all of our fields. We have the biggest field that we're working on right now with Bolt. And then we're planning. So Bolt's running around in the case stagger. Looks like he's going to get the DB60 out there, get her running. So that'll be good. There we go. I like to. So this is technically silage that I'm putting in there that the the silage that I have in their troughs or like their their food um troughs it like spills out and stuff so that's what we got to clean up and then let me get uh some more tmr mixing we're gonna pull around here get some silage fill the sucker up and we also bought a hundred or excuse me 200 head of these guys right here we're just gonna be selling them on the market for the carcasses for the beef so these are our dairy cows then these are gonna be our beef cows so right now we are uh, we're looking pretty bad i gotta i gotta get them fed we just brought them in and uh they've been here last night so let me get the old new haul and fire it up we'll get loaded i'll probably have to do you know three to four loads of tmr alone and then we'll do silage and grass and hay so we'll get that stuff going there we go we're all loaded up and we're starting to make a dent in our bunker actually i i, w I wasn't thinking we would actually notice a difference after doing um after like a few days but we do we do notice a little bit of a difference so it's it's I, I, I think I'm, I planned everything out. I think what I want to do is almost every single field is going to be soybeans for our uh, technically like our cash crop on the farm. There we go, shut her off. And I'm going to feed these guys up here. And then I'm going to have one of our fields, corn, and then we'll do silage with that. And then we have two fully grass uh, fields for hay and grass here. Let's make sure we unload it all. And we're empty, so we got to keep moving here, and I'll get these guys all lit up, and then I'll see you guys once we're done with this cow barn, and we'll move up to the north one. All right, guys, for now, I got most of my chores done. I'm going to come back here and get all everything, uh, get everything scored away before the end of the day, and kind of see see how those guys eat. See, I, I kind of want to watch them and keep tabs, especially because we only had all those guys for the first night. We had a huge delivery come in yesterday of those cows, so we brought in, I think it was 10 truckloads. 10, yeah, 10 full semi truckloads of, of, uh, of our of our beef cows. So I'm going to go out and help Bolt. I'm going to jump in the other planter or give him some relief here. I'm going to probably just call him on the walkie here, see what he's up to. Hey, Bolt, I'm walking to the shed right now. Do you need any, uh, do you need a break or can I come out and help you? I'm out here harvest. I'm out here planting 30, 30 in okay. corn. 30 in corn. Okay, I'll jump in the Magnum. You're in the Steiger still? Yep. Okay, how's it? How's everything going? How's the field looking? It's really good. Okay. Um, tighter a little bit for this. Okay, I'm gonna run out and I'll fill. Uh, I'll fill this other planter here and I'll be out to uh, to help you. Or are you gonna be done with that field pretty soon? I'm gonna be done. With okay. This okay. Too, if you want to do 32 or 39. Cool. All right, I'll do that then. Sounds good. Just checking in, making sure everything's heading good. Yep. I got all the cattle fed. Everybody's everybody's happy. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit, Bolt. Okay. So yeah. All right, boys. I almost didn't look at the fuel gauge. We're almost out of diesel. That would be oh, that would be bad. I was just filling up with seed and fertilizer. We got that done. Then I, I looked down and I'm like, what in the heck? If I would have went out there and not uh, not have done that, let's go ahead. We'll get filled up here. There we go. Fuel's flowing. But if I would have went out there and ran out of fuel, and ooh, I would have been so mad. And the injectors and everything would have been oh, that would have that would have been terrible. So we are. Uh, I think. We're good. There we go. We're filling up. We'll hang out here for a bit and get in the field. I think my, I think the Magnum's my favorite tractor here on the farm. So this is, uh, I kept the duels on it. We had that for compaction, but I like them on it. It's, it's fine. I think running in the field, especially for right now, I'll probably pop them off here. If we ever need to use this for anything else in the field, um, we, we really don't need the duels and but I might keep them on too. And we're off. We're looking good. I'm going to try and get this uh, get this almost wrapped up by the time Bolt's done. Then we can really knock out this field. So, But he'll he'll have to switch to. He'll be done with the corn. Hopefully he runs that cedar dry. So we, I always hate having to empty those out and then refill them with beans. That's always the worst. But I'm going to run around here, guys. Enjoy this time lapse. I'll see you in a second.
Hey Brad, how's it going? Man, it's been rough. Did you hear what happened out at my- No, what happened at your farm? Dude, I was spreading lime, and yeah. I, I only spread like maybe a hundred feet of it, and <laughs> my truck just fell into a sinkhole. A, a sinkhole? Yeah. I, in I, your field? I just got out of the hospital like a, a few hours ago. No, nah, did you tell Bolt? I had never heard of this. Yeah, yeah, I, I just came over here, and Bolt told me to come out here because he in the field. Dang. So, is it a sinkhole? Your and it was your pickup truck or is it the tractor? That no. So I have a I have a big Kenworth uh, oh. that I put some tractor tires on. Not big tractor tires, but yep. uh, and then I put a spreader on the back of it. Yep. And yeah, man. Dang, that's crazy. So you're all right and everything. You just got out of the hospital. You said. Yeah. It it threw me from the vehicle. Jeez. It was crazy. So what's the farm kind of look? What are you doing with the farm? I already I mean, sold everything. You already or, sold or everything? Back, yeah, that's, really, yeah it was did that hurt the value the at all? Uh, I only owned a few things. I, I kept my skier and I, I kept some other things. My old, old tractor I still have. but. Uh, gotcha. Dang. All right, guys, we're just finishing up this field. We'll have it all the way done, and then we'll get to the cows and get that going. But this wasn't too bad. The Magnum did really good, and it took me it took me about three hours. It wasn't it wasn't terrible. We went nice and slow in some spots, so yeah, it wasn't uh, it wasn't bad at all. And then I only had to refill the cedars. I think I refilled it three times, so that wasn't bad either. So things are going good here on the farm. I think the soil the soil was good as well. So I'm gonna knock out this little strip here. Then we'll get back to the cows and make sure they're fed properly and everything. So we'll get that going. But we're a little dirty. I like to keep my equipment clean, keep her nice and purdy. We'll get her power wash all wrapped up here. And we, one thing that we need to do is, so <clears throat> after winter, obviously, we still have those grass fields. And so they're, they're growing. But one thing that I didn't know is that uh, for the cattle, they eat grass directly too i thought that was just a mixture of tmr but they also need grass like individually which is kind of interesting how that works so i'm learning more on the cows and i really enjoy doing them and i'm gonna be curious to see how much money we can make once we really get everything running and gunning here we go clean off the little girl here get all these weights clean getting the rims perfect these steps clean off the windows she cleans up pretty quick though so there we go that's done and we'll clean off our seed here. This seed isn't bad. I think it's... I like how it folds up really, really nice and skinny. That's easy for in the shed. There we go. Looks good. All right, guys. We jumped in the 4440. We are done cleaning off, putting our equipment away for planting. Now I'm going to get the cows fed again here today. So I got this fancy dancy new bale spike, bale fork, whatever you want to call it. And we can hold, I think, up to, up to three. I'm going to get these two out of the way. We can hold up to three bales, which is really nice. Oh. Well, I accidentally got no get back there there we go so with this bale spike you can i yeah i think three it's nice because it has like those um those rods those rods that you see so you can stack them really easily they they won't come sliding off and you don't have to like really worry about balancing it perfectly so this will work good for when we need to make tmr and have them eating some bales there we go here's three this is quite a bit away from the 4440 She's, uh, she's handling it just fine though. So this is going to work out really good. And it just helps us so much by stacking. It does get a little wobbly, but it's not terrible. There we go. Now, if you guys enjoy farming on the channel, let me know by hitting the like button. Let me know in the comments. We have something, uh, I can't tell you guys it's going to be happening within this month. You will know what's going on, but there's some works going on on the channel and with uh with other youtubers that are it's gonna be pretty cool it's gonna be very innovating for farm sim so you guys will see and it's gonna be farming as well so it's it's gonna be something different and i know i'm not the best at farming on this channel but i do enjoy doing it and it's pretty fun so we're gonna give it a real crack here soon um and i'll explain later more but just a little bit of uh heads up that we might be changing the way we play the game in terms of farming and it's going to be something that for those on PC have the b ability to do it. You're, I'll explain it, but if you have a PC, I mean, that is, it's going to be pretty cool. And you'll be able to do, do it too. All right, guys, we're loading down. I'm going to see if I can make, you know, I'm just going to swing out this way. But this is, this is not a light load. There we go. It's always fun to just, you know, load down the truck and see how she does. Diesel, get out of the way there, buddy. There we go, Diesel. Sometimes Diesel's scared of the power stroke. Just she's, she's too loud. She's too mean. 
So we'll, we'll head down here and get these unloaded. Start making a bunch of TMR, getting a bunch of salvage in there. They are so hungry, and uh, and I need to kind of get better at it. We have so many cows that it's a little different now that we have so many, and in, in, uh, and we got to be a little more faster when it comes to this. So there we go. I'll have the bobcat unload these. Perfect. There we go. I accidentally spilled a few bales, but that's all right. We'll get these guys fed. Get all that water and stuff going but if you guys enjoyed today's episode let me know by hitting the like button i gotta get all these chores done i don't want to bear you guys with me doing it all there we go is she going yes sir there she is all right chester billy joe come on susan you're better than that get your head out of the gutter but that's gonna wrap up today's episode guys thank you so much for watching peace out and i'll see you all in the next one